can sing it with me. Mm -hmm. Amar, Akbar, Anthony. Hey, welcome back to our Super Drag Seed. It's of course. I'm Rick. It's the Grand of Homo Juicy Content. It's so juicy. Bang! Whoa. We need 69% of you to do that. Just for a personal goal of ours. Yeah. Because uh, we're children. And uh, today, in case you didn't guess it by the intro or the just, title of the video. Uh, or the whatever. We're doing movie review. <laughs> of the classic. Amor, 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 uh, a, I know this is a masala film. 100%. You know how we know? <laughs> the definition of a masala film. Masala films of Indian cinema are those that mix genres in one work. Typically, these films freely mix action, comedy, romance, drama, melodrama. They also tend to be mu musicals that include songs, often filmed in picturesque locations. The genre is named after the masala, a mixture of spices and Indian cuisine. According to the Hindu, masala is the most popular genre of Indian cinema, having its origins in 1970s Bollywood films and are most common in Bollywood and South Indian and, films. And this is the quintessential masala film. And uh, I know, because I say that because I called Talash a masala film, and obviously that was incorrect. Uh, and I, I've been told we have watched other masala films. Some people called War a masala film. Some people called Shole a masala film. Uh, mm. None of them hit, I think, the masala that this one this does. This is masala. But uh, directed by, say that name for me, please, Rick. Uh, Mamohan Desai. I hope that's the correct pronunciation. And then starring uh, Vinod Kana. Kana. Yep. Rishi Kapoor. Kapoor. Amitabh Bachchan. And then say these ladies for me. Shabana Azmi. And then Netu Singh. And then the lovely Parveen Babi. I, for, I forget which one it is, but whoever Rishi Kapoor's love interest is, is also Ranbir's mother. Oh. So it's a uh, mommy and daddy flick. Got but it. anyways, obviously this came out in, I think, what year did it come out? 77? 77. Yes. So I'm assuming if you're Indian, you've seen it. Yeah, uh, but if you if you haven't, we saw it on uh, Amazon. Uh, go watch. Obviously, it's the sport review. It's coming out. What's up? Forty five. It's fifty. Yeah, it's something. Forty five years, years it's, ago. It's forty years old. So, so, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, there's things about it I really enjoyed. There are things about it I really didn't like. I don't think I'm a masala fan based on this. Mm -hmm. Um, I I want to touch more on the things that I liked. I have a feeling. We may go in the same direction we went with the disaster artist on this one because I have a feeling you liked disaster this more. Disaster artist. Yeah, that's oh, the... Gotcha. Yeah. I, I think. I, I have a feeling you liked this more than I did. That's my guess. I fucking love this movie. I yeah, see. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. This is, we're going to go in the realm of the disaster also, artist here. Also, you can say whatever you want about this film. I will agree with you. <laughs> it, it's, that's right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so yeah. Um... I thought this movie was hilarious. There yes. is... Now here, here... Okay, I knew you were going to say hilarious. Let me ask okay. you this, because this is, this is my biggest quandary, and it also is linked to a quote from the director. Uh-huh. Okay? And it makes sense when you hear this quote. He's quoted as saying, logic is illogical. Okay. And that makes sense when you see this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... There's no... I, I don't... I, I don't... Maybe I do. Because I, we're just getting introduced to it and fully understanding what masala is. It's kind of like eating pan. You know, it's like you've mm. never had it. You're trying to figure it out. Yeah. So this is 100% a mix of all the genres. Oh, a ton. Yeah. Now, the the ridiculous stuff, I loved. Uh -huh. But when it tried to be serious... A win. <laughs> but that's 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 my... I Do you think... So, for example... The, I love this more than Podolson, and it's because... If you remember my gripe with Podolson... I wanted it to be even more stupid. So and you, my the parts that I disliked were yeah. when they were taking themselves too seriously. There wasn't five minutes in this thing when there wasn't a song, a, f a fight, uh, something really stupid right. going on, an action sequence. There wasn't five minutes of any... And obviously there's, there's almost zero plot to this. So it's just essentially... Uh, the stupidest parts of Podolson, like the entire tree part of Podolson, uh -huh. that's what I felt this entire film was. But see, here's my question. Yeah. I don't think that was the director's intention. Oh, I do. I think this was almost a satire, kind of like 
like Blazing Saddle is of um, no. Uh, no, I'm not saying. Hold on. Uh, how Blazing Saddles is a satire of the all oh, westerns. Right, right. This is, I think, a, a a satire of all Bollywood films. <laughs> Even the serious parts. I don't know what serious parts you're talking about. So the, the very opening of the film, like I've read reviews from people mm -hmm. who saw this and were moved to tears by the opening 15 minutes because of the tragedy of the drama. I've never heard of that. I've read the reviews. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think they're. I think they were mistaken. Okay. Because in the first five minutes, one of my favorite parts. Somebody gets shot in the chest. <laughs> Right, doesn't move, and then opens his shirt to reveal chain mail. Like that's supposed to do anything. Okay, I. That's where <laughs> if if that oh, was the good. intention, oh, if it you, had to be. Why? Like, you can't start a film by showing somebody getting shot point blank. Like they weren't, but this far from each other. Right. He shot him. He right. Barely moved, and they're just like, I have chain mail on. I'm fine. So all logic after that point is just through, like, there is none. So even, for example, like, the, the, the color of blood was intentionally off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. On, you think the director consciously made that choice? And, like I said, there's nothing you, like, I'm not trying to defend this on any artistic level. I, I think the point of this film was to be funny and to entertain you. That's it. There, I agree, there's zero logic. There's almost zero plot. In this film, <laughs> well, there's a yeah, there is. There's a story. I mean, there's a, there's a definite story. They, they find their love interest. They meet once. They all love each other immediately. <laughs> well, and it's the story of the three sons separated and the mom and the dad. And, oh no, I love it. So you thought that you thought, for yeah. example, the when the mom also they were getting a blood transfusion. They were like all three at the exact same time, and the mom right, was on this side of the room, and the blood looked like <laughs> tomato juice in the jar. But see, that's the thing. I don't think the director meant for that to be funny. I do. I think the director meant for the serious parts to be serious. Uh, I don't think so. So uh, you think it was meant to be funny I for so lightning to strike the tree and hit her in the head with a tree branch and strike her blind? You think that was supposed to be comedy, like Mel Brooks kind of <laughs> yes. satire? Why would that happen? And then, right after that happened, the guy who saved her picked it up and threw it off like it weighed like one pound. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> but that's where I... 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 Oh. I'm not convinced, and I would feel better about it if well, I'm the serious you, parts... The people I've already spoken to about this film know how ridiculous this film, and that's why people love it. In the ridiculous spots. Uh, the entire thing was ridiculous. I, Every single part. Well, see, that's where... Okay, I'd love to know what... Like, really, what the intention was behind the serious parts compared to the... Because, like I said... The parts that were intentionally ridiculous, I really enjoyed, especially in the songs, especially with the hilarity. Mm -hmm. But when I was watching the fight sequences, because I didn't know... Oh, they were 100% supposed to be, because they're literally like, they're like this, right? Let's say I throw you, he goes through a wall. There's no way that's supposed to be serious. <laughs> I, I, I don't think, know. I think you were mistaken. Me and my wife both agreed. Like, it was... Flat out, just supposed to be ridiculous satire. Uh, every minute of it. Every minute of okay, it. Okay, that's where I, I, I wasn't I sure. I think you were mistaken. Because okay. there's nothing about this film that I... And like I said, I'm not going to defend on any artistic level. It was all I, ludicrous. It's why I went and... I and loved it. It's why I read audience reviews and criti critic reviews. Mm -hmm. And the many of the ones that I read made it really clear that the dramatic sections for them mm -hmm. were what they what they should be for drama. Like, legitimate writing, acting, everything was... Like, they hit all the genres the way the genre should be hit. Not this whole thing was supposed to be ridiculous. That's why I, I, I left it with... Okay, if the serious stuff was supposed to be serious... There was only a couple parts where I was like, Oh, I'm a dog function. Nice. And there was like two, two instances. Uh, of that where he actually was like, there he is. There's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. rest of it, I was like, this is absolutely just ridiculous satire. Up to the very end where they were literally, I'm going to talk about uh, Anthony. They're singing their names and they're supposed to be undercover. Right, of course. <laughs> like, it makes no and sense. That, and then they go, I'd like to hug my child once. And then they're singing in the car at the end. It, I don't think any of this was supposed to be taken seriously. Well, that obviously wasn't. 
No. That's clearly satire. I, mean, I don't think But the moments it. where, for example, family reunited and they're in tears, or like the first 15 minutes when the kids are separated, I think that was a legitimate attempt to be serious. I don't think that was like... Those are like two minutes each. No, like the first 15 minutes is drama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first 15 no, minutes... There's, there's that fight where he gets shot in the chest. No, but the, the first 15 minutes story-wise is the dad... Gets shot. It, well, yeah, you're going to keep talking about him getting shot. Because he shot him point blank and he survived because he had chain mail. How that much? throws every logic out. No, it, it throws... Chain mail does not block bullets, Rick. I'm sorry to say this. <laughs> that, how much time... I can't believe I have to belabor this. I how, can't either. <laughs> how much time did that moment take in the first 15 minutes, the getting shot in the chest with chainmail? A couple of seconds. It was hilarious. Okay, okay. Well, how about the rest of the 14 minutes and 53 seconds? I don't know why you're hung up on that. Oh, two hours 45. I, yeah, you're like, you're like trying to herd cats sometimes. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to point out is the first 15 minutes of the film. Cool. Okay, so the, the, we're, I'm just, we're not going to agree. We've already gone the first 10 minutes of this talking about this. We're it's not, like herding cats. We're not going to agree on this. So obviously you didn't like the drama parts. That's fine. Totally fine. Cool. <laughs> I thought they were all supposed to be very comedic. Uh, and so we could get on to the rest of the parts. I get it. I totally get it. Uh, I'm not going to defend it, like I said, on any artistic level. Oh, you are defending it. No, on the comedy level, I am. 100%. Okay. <laughs> But the rest of it, uh, I thought it was actually really cool because the action parts of this were very, oh, what did we say? Uh, Adam West Batman. Yeah. Which is it, another. Very reminiscent of Adam West Batman. But another way that I thought it was very comedic because that was very comedic back then too for the, for the time. Uh, the fact that you saw multiple times they didn't even punch him, uh, the other people in the scene. And they flipped back. They're falling through. Uh, walls uh and then the, like the car scenes <laughs> my favorite part of the entire thing is when she's getting chased through the cornfield and then amatak bakchan pops up as a scarecrow <laughs> yeah that was good <laughs> that was good the entire time oh i died that part i literally was falling on the floor laughing at that point uh for 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 the action i i really really enjoyed that part uh the songs there was I thought we had reacted to almost all this. I know I had, I did too, but we, we hadn't. And I, the songs were probably my favorite, my favorite part of the of the movie. Of the yeah, song. like, <laughs> sorry, it's all so. Um, but like the the one where I think what is it? I don't forget who's falling in love. I forget if it's Amitabh Bakshan or somebody else. They're on the beach, and it's a really pretty shot actually. And they're on a carriage, I think. Oh called? yeah, it was him and Jenny. Was that him and Jenny? With the little okay. pony pulling them? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that one. Um, and I think there was entire songs uh, where all three of them fall in love at the same time. Um, I thought Rishi Kapoor brought a ton of energy to this role, which was cool. I thought to see uh, him younger, because we yeah. this, this is the first time we've ever seen him younger. Yeah. I think we were, at, after he passed, we hadn't reacted to a bunch of his stuff. And I think we reacted Correct. to the song where he was we singing did. in the, the, the hall, right? Yes, we did, from this. Uh -huh. um, and I uh, I have mentioned this before, and we the uh, I'm forgetting her name, but she played Jenny, uh, uh, Anthony's love interest. Uh, Parveen like, Bobby. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember when we saw... That's Rishi's, right? Or no, no, no. Amitabh. Amitabh. Yeah. Uh, I remember we talked about how pretty she was when we first reacted to the actual song of Amar Akbar Anthony. Yeah. And I felt like throughout, she just, she, what a beautiful screen presence she had. And very believable in terms of, uh, her, you know, her being a love interest of Amitabh Bakchan. But yeah, I just, my, my going back to, I, I couldn't tell. Like when I'm watching Nacho Libre or Napoleon Dynamite, I know throughout the intention of the director for the totality of the film, or like you said, Blazing Saddles. Mm. But because this is a mix of genres, it seemed like the absurdist parts were meant to be absurdist and were done really well. But when it got into the action and the drama, I couldn't tell, I didn't feel like, and based on the reviews I read, I didn't feel like the director was intending for this to be illogically ridiculous throughout. I felt like the dramatic things were, were 
attempting to be dramatic. Therefore, I got pulled away from mm. I got pulled away from those moments. Yeah. No. Um, what did you like about the film? Uh, those musical numbers, the absurdist comedy parts that I felt were intentional, mm -hmm. and the comedic things that were supposed to be comedic. Uh, I I liked. Um, I especially liked of the three, Big B, and I don't think it's a. a just because we've seen more of him, that, that may be part of it. But mm -hmm. I really, I felt like um, his character was, like, especially in the serious points. Mm -hmm. And that was, again, that's what led me to believe we've got some serious Big B in these moments. So I don't think this is supposed to be absurdist for the whole thing. In fact, I think that's what Masala is. It's supposed to combine them all. You're supposed to get some realism. You're supposed to get some drama. You're supposed to get some absurdity. And uh, I, uh, that, that's it, though. There was more I didn't like mm. than I did. And again, I, I can't really put my finger on it because of maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Uh, that's just, and I may not, I may not be a fan of masala films. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just, I'm learning as we go. <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I immediately went in because I, I, when it first started, I was like, okay, getting a little drama. But right when he got shot. I immediately, everything else after that, I was like, there's gonna be no logic in this thing. And I can't point to you one piece that makes sense to me. And I love that part of it. Because that, when I talked about the Pedosan review, that was that was what I wanted more of. I wanted more of the, the end part where they think he's dead. Obviously he's not. They're all ridiculous. Uh, and or the tree part, or you know, there's numerous parts of that. My, my, my issue with that one was, I wanted more stupidity. And this gave me, Tons of it. <laughs> there, was, there was, I loved it. I loved this movie. I could, I could literally turn this off and start it again and just laughed at it uh, entirely. I, entirely. I all could if I felt, and this is where I get into the disaster artist, which also comes from the room. Like everybody loves the room for the wrong reasons, and that's my concern about your love for this one. I disagree. Let us know what the next uh, Amatak Bakshan classic should be. I know he has a bunch of... Uh, do you have something else to say? No. Okay, good. <laughs> no way. I, I, didn't, I didn't want you to keep going over that over and over again. That's fine. Uh, but what should be the next Amatak Bakshan classic? I know he has other comedies. I know he has Chupka Chupka. I know he has... Uh, I don't know if it's comedy, but that Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, people say, is, is a good one. Oh, I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's... Because if it, obviously if it's a remake of that, it's not. I don't think it'll be full on masala. I think it's. Yeah, gonna be, I, I think it's going to be more. I would rather lean toward a. Well, I'm not opposed to masala. I'd like to know that aspect of masala. Mm -hmm. If 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 masala means all of it's absurd, or if it just means we're going to do multiple genres, or if it's both. And then if that's the case, as we learn more, I would like to watch more Masala and compare it to this, since yeah. this is really the first one I know was Masala. But, I do but I'd love to see a straight, like a Pedosan kind of comedy, where the whole thing is just pretty much comedy with occasional drama. Uh, I know he has, is obviously the ones that are his thespianatic right. classics. Dwar, I know that. Yeah, yeah, I know we've got to get, I know, uh, I know he has a bunch of other ones. So let us know down below what should be the next Amitak Baksha and Rishi Kapoor and uh, Vinod yeah. uh, Khanna as Vinod well. Khanna. I know he's a, he's and a, he's I, a I'd also love to see Parveen Babi because I yeah. felt like we only got to get a glimpse of her in this and if she's bit. a really good actress, I would love to see more of her work. I understand she passed away when she was like only 50 years old. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let us know what's the next classic we should watch down below.